Hello everybody, welcome. In this video, we're gonna go over using savings goals in Simplify. So to get to the goals section, you can just select goals from the left-hand bar here. And as you can see, I do already have a savings goal in here that I am working towards. However, we are going to go ahead and create a new goal today, which you can do by selecting the add goal button in the upper right or this new goal tile. So when creating a new goal, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is tell Simplify what you're saving for. So we have some built-in options here, or you can also create your own custom goal. And for today, I'm going to create a goal for a vacation. So I can customize the name here. I'm gonna to wanna to give it a goal amount. And if you have any money saved so far towards your goal, you can enter that here and select the account that it is saved from. And once you have this filled out, you'll click continue. And here's where you can play with your target goal date and your monthly contribution amount. So there's some different options here. You can actually turn the target goal date off completely. You can change these different settings, which pops up with some different options down here where it shows you if I was to change this date, it will change my monthly contribution amount to this much. Um, which I can select these options here, or I can also just enter my own custom monthly contribution amount. And as you can see, I have some options down here. So we are gonna change my goal date to July of 2025. And now that that is done, I'm gonna click continue. And the last thing I wanna do is tell Simplify whether I, or not I want this goal money to be deducted from my spending plan. And once done, go ahead and create your goal. As you can see, my goal has now been created here. Um, there's some details on the tiles for the goals. So this little bar shows your progress with what's been saved so far. This is what I have available to spend from my goal, which we'll go over here in a bit, as well as this. If I've spent any from my goal, this number will reflect that. And this is what I have left to save. Also, this shows my goal amount, my target goal date, and whether or not I'm on track. As you can see, this goal I'm actually a couple of months ahead on. And if you wanna see some more details about one of your goals, you can actually just click on the tile for that goal and this will give a breakdown for this month as well as the accounts that you have made your contributions from. And next we're gonna go over contributing to a goal. So to contribute to a goal, you'll click the three dots to the upper right of the goal and select contribute to goal. You'll select the account that you'd like to contribute from and the amount of your contribution. As you can see, this number changed. This changed as well. You can also withdraw from your goal. So there's a couple of different withdrawal options and you can access those by selecting the three dots, withdraw from goal. So this withdraw for another purpose, um, say your situation changes and you need to take some of your goal money back this will allow you to withdraw for that, or you can also withdraw to spend for your goal. So if you wanna use a little bit of your goal money towards your actual goal, um, say you have an emergency fund and you have a thousand bucks saved up and you need to use 500 of it, this would be a great way to go about using those funds and deducting them from your goal. And we'll walk through this one just so you guys can see what it looks like on the tile for the goal. So you can only withdraw from accounts that you've contributed from. So I've only contributed from this account, so it does not allow me to select any other accounts, but uh, normally there would be a drop down menu right here where you can select any accounts that you have contributed from to withdraw to. And then you're gonna put in the amount of your withdrawal. So we'll just take back $50 of the $100 I contributed to spend for my goal. And as you can see, that's where this comes into play here. I've spent $50 towards my goal and you can see those numbers on the graph here as well. You can also edit or delete a goal by clicking this three dot menu. So here's edit, it'll pull up this window where I can make any changes or I can also delete a goal if I no longer want that goal. And the last thing we're gonna go over in the goals tab is the view options up here in the upper right. So this, we're currently on the goals view. However, we can change this to a by account view. And this breaks down my goals per account. So this shows my account that I have contributions from, how much I've contributed towards my goals and what's available after those contributions. 
and I can also see the goals that I've contributed to from this account. Now, if there, I had other accounts that I have contributions from, those would be listed here as well with these same specs. So just a little bit of a different view option, uh, depending on how you'd like to view your goals and the progress made. Now, when you contribute to goals, as they are a mock scenario, so what happens is they actually get added to the balance on your account. So as you can see, I have my ICCU savings account here. These are my savings goals contributions that I've made, and this is my available balance after those contributions. So this is what I would go off of to make sure that I am not spending my goal money. And you can see those in the upper right of the account as well. And finally, what do you do when it comes time to spend some of your goal money? Well, we do have the withdrawal to spend for part of your goal option. Um, however, when the actual transactions take place, we suggest categorizing them accordingly and then ignoring them from your spending plan so that they're not being counted against you because you did already save that money up for that purpose. Um, so that's just what we like to recommend. However, it is entirely up to you and your preference and how you'd like to handle that. But that is all I have for savings goals. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, thank you for watching and happy savings.